Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Auburn, Washington, where we have the village idiot of a frauditor who wants to audit a school bus garage and yard. Why would he want to do that? Hell if I know. Because I know for one thing, I mean, it's one of the most boring places you can be anyway, because all they do is maintain the uh, vehicles that are used by the school board anyway. I mean, not much to see there, trust me. I've been around one long enough. But that's just me, because I actually have a job with that deals with the uh, school buses and everything like that. Unlike this pathetic loser who probably hasn't worked a day in his life. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, dumbass, notice there's a fence here, which is usually an indicator that they don't want anybody in the area and that they keep the gates open because, well, they have buses coming in and out all the damn time. You know what? They might as well go ahead and go uh, the uh, route that my school district went and uh, put in coded gates. That way, you have to have a specific code just to get in the gate to prevent idiots like this from doing what they're doing. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. Who are you? My name's Steve. And who are you with? Oh, myself. Yeah, you can't be out here. You gotta be up, you gotta go up front and check in. You can't walk around here. Oh, why is that? Because all visitors have to check in up front. Big signs everywhere. I didn't see a single sign that said Yeah, that. they're out in front of the building. Oh, yeah, I didn't enter that way. Yeah, we can't, we can't just have people walking around. Why not? Because all kinds of stuff gets happened. All kinds of things happen? Yeah, you have to check in with front. Visitors have to check in with front at all school buildings. But yeah, like I said, I mean... This is school property. In and checked it out, yeah. You have to go up front through the office and get a visitor's pass. Um, yeah, I'll probably swing by when I'm done. Having worked at a school for a few years now, I can tell you one thing that, well, you definitely need to go to the front office and uh, make sure that you get that visitor's pass because if you don't, they will escort you out of the area and, and sometimes in handcuffs. So you might want to be careful, you dumbass frauditor, if you don't want that happening to you. And especially around a bus garage like that because, well, you're dealing with machines right there that can hurt you if you're not careful with them. And, uh, well, what about uh, the security of those buses out there? Because you never know what ill intentions some idiot like you may have. I mean, we don't know what your intentions are if you just walk right on there. No, you, you have to go now. You have to check in. You can't be on school district property without a pass. Can't be on can't be on school property without a pass? Correct. We have to know who you are. Why is that? It's children's safety involved. Oh, are there children involved? Uh, yeah, people come in with buses all the time with kids on board, yep. <laughs> oh, you are a complete and total dumbass. There is no Fourth Amendment rights violation just for showing your ID to get into a area like this. All you're doing is showing your ID. They are not taking it away from you, you bloody idiot. And besides, uh, let me ask you something. Is it a Fourth Amendment violation for every job that you go to to ask for your ID so they can hire you and pay you and everything like that? And uh, guess what? If you want to be employed with the schools too, you've got to show your ID so they can know who you are. It is not a Fourth Amendment right violation, you bloody idiot. Uh, I guarantee I'm not going to have any issue with the I kids. Under I understand. We have to. You have to be checked in. I, I just want to make sure. You said people come in here driving buses with kids on them all the time into the transportation yep. depot? Yep, they come in, we transfer kids from one bus to another quite often here. Wow, okay, that's good to know. All right, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I appreciate what you're saying. Uh, all you gotta do is go check in. 
Yeah, I mean, I'll just wrap up here and then I'll head up front. So, all right. All right, thanks. Five minutes later. Wait. Hi there. You're just being on video recorded just to let you know. Sure. Do you work here? I don't really answer questions. Okay. Then I'll have you step over onto the sidewalk, please. What happens if I don't? You will be arrested for a trespass day, of course. So I'm being trespassed? Yes. Who's trespassing me? Well, the school, for one, and then since this is private property. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. So you, are you the one that's trespassing me? No. Who's trust? I'm, I'm confused, officer. I work for the school district. Okay. Along, uh, so I'm giving you the word. So you're Don't trespassing leave. me? Yes. Okay. Well, let's walk and then I need to get that 115 form. What's 115? Uh, if you look in uh, Title 9A, Section 52, or Chapter 52, the trespass statute. Oh, yeah. Okay, then give me all your information. Uh, actually, doesn't require information. Okay. So I have you on camera. I have your photo. Okay. All right. If you come back, you'll be arrested. Okay. I do need the, the Section 115 form, the Declaration Form Under Penalty of Perjury. I appreciate the fact that you provided citation for uh, what you were talking about. But what is not appreciated is that you lied about what is actually on there. You do, in fact, have to provide your information according to what I have underlined in the document that you provided the citation for. So it's still a strike against you for the outright blatant lie that you told the officer right there. Um, and since you're signing. I don't, I don't even have it on me. It's in my car. And then we're walking this way. Yeah. But you are going to give that to me, right? And you're going to sign it because you're the one trespassing me? Sure. Yeah. Hey, I cannot complain about that. I appreciate you doing the right thing in that regard. Oh, look at that. We, we, may, have, we may have a civil disagreement, and that's fine. But uh, I appreciate you. Uh, why are at you least here one... taping out of curiosity? Well, I was telling uh, the guy back there here working on a story about a alleged um, oil spill, rather large one, hazmat spill. So... Can you grab a trespass for me? Well, I, I need the trespass one, but I also need the declaration form, so it's two separate ones. No, it's all on the same paperwork for us. Oh, okay. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Are you going to stay right here? I'll be right back with that form, okay? Yeah, you bet. You bet. Now, this video was well over an hour long. I'm not going to make you guys sit around and watch any of this uh, crap more than you have to. I mean, after this, all he really does is uh, go to the police department to file complaints that, oh, he had been trespassed from uh, school grounds. But, you know, dude, if you're not authorized to be there, then, well, leave. Don't make such a big ruckus out of it because you'll end up, well, making yourself uh, look like a complete fool in the end when your court cases, well, get laughed out of court. I was wanting to see if I can, unless you are and you're just hiding it because you're wearing a coat, uh, looking to see if I can get a sergeant, corporal, lieutenant, whatever. Whatever whoever's available to. I want to speak to your... Manager, whatever. Okay. What is it about so I can tell him? Uh, well, while I appreciate there's a misunderstanding on that officer's part over there, I'm actually wanting to square it away before it escalates into something that it shouldn't. Yeah, I mean that in a civil sense, not a... Okay. What's, <laughs> a, a, what's the misunderstanding, I guess? Uh, well, A, this, this is definitely not private property in any way. School district it. property. Yeah, it's not private property though. The school district it's, property and it's there's public stuff, property. There's school district stuff and it's posted that you cannot enter there without checking at the main office. There. Yes. Not here. If you go down along the line, there's I, you know I, I observed because I try to make sure I'm on the right side of everything here. Okay. There's no no unauthorized personnel signs, no no trespassing signs, no anything like that. Now obviously there's vehicle directional signs, you know, like, hey, this is exit only or buses only down there, that kind of stuff. It's funny that you should mention private property signs because from where you're standing, you cannot see them from here. But if you look down this way and just walk a little further beyond the bus garage building right there, you can see what appears to be a uh, private property sign right there. I mean, it's blurry in the uh, Google Maps image, but uh, it certainly looks like the type that would definitely be seen uh, in other locations, dude. So you might want to do a little bit of fact checking and uh, walk a little bit further down the road uh, just to be sure about that, you freaking dumbass. But when you're contacted by 
the staff here and they say you have to leave and you refuse, that's when the, st the problem starts. Uh, well, no, it'd be like, for example, if you and I were to stand here both on the sidewalk simultaneously, I said, uh, what's your name? Gothels. Gothels? Gothels. Gothels? Yeah. Okay. I was like, hey, Gothels, you can't be here. You got to skedaddle, man. Uh, I'm just, it's my sidewalk. I'm making a decree here. Uh, mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. I mean, we both, sidewalk city property. This is school district property. It's different. Which is owned by the city, which is owned by the people. It's owned by the district, not the city. Well, that is all part and parcel. It's a municipal corporation. Oh, now you're beginning to sound like a freaking sovtard. One who doesn't even know the difference between a government or a corporation. You need to go back to school, dude. So. All right. There you go. Just means that if you come back to any of those properties, those are all the Auburn School District properties that you could be arrested. Yeah, I got that. Uh, quick question though. What you said this has does not have it. So I, I'm just politely asking for the additional form. Oh, poor baby. Yeah. The, the, that's the other that's gonna be it. All so right. you're gonna refuse to sign the perjury statement? Is no, I, I signed that. This isn't under penalty of perjury. There's in, in 9852 section 115, section 80 as you know is the is the actual trespass section where it delineates between mm -hmm. outer property and inner property. When you go down a few more sections to section 115, there's actually a form there that the legislature mandated that anybody, whether it's you or, which is why, honestly, what I'm asking you is actually to help you. If you get the guy in there to sign that, it actually takes the liability away from the police department and I, you personally. I, I'm not gonna get into Harris. You're not allowed to be on this property. Okay, well I still okay. need a corporal, sergeant, whoever. All right, you're more than welcome one. to call them down. So you're- I request one. You request one? Why do you gotta be like that, officer? I mean, I'm just asking for a corporal or sergeant. Aren't no, you guys- one for you. Aren't you guys public? Yeah, but he's, he's being actually reasonable and appropriate. You're being inappropriate. I'm, I'm not, you're, I'm sorry. You're actually being very unreasonable, very inappropriate. And you're just being a gibbering idiot who can't understand any trespassing laws or anything like that. So yeah, might as well just go ahead and cut it off right here because well, he just jabbers on about nothing for the next few minutes and, uh, well, still trespassed at the end of the day. Do yourself a favor, dude, and go get yourself a job and an education or something like that because this frauding gig, well, it's going to lead you down the wrong path and, uh, well, you know how that goes. But, hell, my advice to you would be ignored. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?